she walked just in front of my house and normally I wouldn't dare but today I was like the hell with that all I said sweetie come here you're so pretty what's your name and she approached and said Samantha <laughs> I closed the door I cover her mouth and all I can see is her big blue eyes filling with tears more and more as I thrust my big fucking dirty cock into her each muffled sound seems like a cry but this little 13 year old bitch loves it love, love. or she'll learn to love it like all whores eventually do with their entitled fucking existence but I'll put her down I'll shoot this big thick fucking load into her little body and give her a belly full of burden that will wipe that future slut laugh off her face forever. That's what I want to do to your little girl. And then you limit religious wishy-washy fucks. You tell your little girl she has to have this monster's child else she goes to prison for 99 years. Fuck you, Alabama. Fuck you, Georgia, and any other goat fucking piece of land on this beautiful earth. Now, all we need is speakers. Come and party with us. Take care of you when you're passed out. Right there with you in your glass house. I try, dude, I try. I'll take a decent religious person anytime over a cutthroat atheist but when push comes to shove people vote and if you're stupid enough to vote for a legislator that just spurts out God's name and you put him in office and he gets to fuck with abortion rights like that then you're as dumb as he is and I hope you both burn in your personal God's hell. Religion, man. God damn it. Hey, God didn't ask Mary if she wanted baby Jesus. Maybe she wanted to be a singer. If we're all God's children, then he raped at least one of us. Maybe that's where you get your examples. You fucking inbreed legislator fucks. But then one of my best friends, Christina, she posts this picture and this picture. And I was like, holy crap. Men never have a right. Never have a say. Never in a woman's body. I don't know about that. Spreading out shit like this is as mindless as religion is. Mindless as the religious people who vote these fucking laws. And just simplifying it like that will push people on the fence to join the other side. Never. Really? I can think of a few examples just off the top of my head, right? Dude, here's the bottom line. Bottom, bottom line is women do have a right. But what's also true, and I don't know much people, but I know this. Nothing creates a worse adult than the feeling as a child that he never was wanted in the first place. And don't get me wrong. You sleep with the girl. Don't use a condom. She warns you. You're like, yeah, okay, okay. And then you don't pull out. If she wants to keep, it's not cool. But if she wants to keep it, it's on you, dude. Hold your nut or accidents happen or wear a condom. Right? But it's not always like that. Let's not pretend women don't trap. Oh, women trap, man. My girl, she shows me this stupid fucking Romanian vlogger chick that only talks about makeup and how, how beautiful her life is right and young girl right and she meets this dude and from the moment she meets this dude 
six months later, she's pregnant and having this kid. So blessed, right? How about you ask the dude if he wanted the kid? Let's ask that dude what he thought about that decision, right? Dude with money, you think you don't have just a little say then? Just a little say. People, you know how many girls just told me, come in me, two. They were both exes. They were both 27 to 30. They came back after being hurt, right? I was a nice guy when we broke up. We fuck. I announce that I have to come, right? Both of them. And this is like a six month period in between them, right? She goes, come in me. And the other girl goes the same. And one of the girls, I said, I stopped and said, are you on the pill? And she's like, no, 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 but don't ruin the moment. Holy shit, don't ruin the moment? Are you fucking crazy? It's your desperation years. You've been hurt by a couple of dicks who never called you the next day. And now you just expect me to shoot my load in you? Just like that after we haven't been close for years? They don't even know when they trap. I said this to another friend of mine. And she goes, well, you shouldn't listen to that because they were horny. Holy shit, they were horny. Well, girl, how about when your guy fucks another girl and uses that excuse? How about you play it cool? Like, he yeah, was just horny. It's okay, baby. You were just horny. Dude, how women conveniently pick shit amazes me, right? Are we honestly going to sit here and pretend there are not women who trap guys out there, right? There are some men who turn into monsters. And maybe you were too young and stupid to notice the red flags. And it's better to raise that kid by yourself than in a house full of fucking fights and scandals. And I have only respect for women. They have the power to pull that plug for the betterment of their child and themselves but let's not pretend people let's not pretend that a man and a woman isn't the best thing for a child I, I mean let's not pretend that a kid doesn't need a daddy especially if he's a guy but as a girl too you take your models your future role models as a guy and as a girl from your mom and dad girls see dads take things out of their dad's personality if he was a good dude and search him into her future lovers and possibly her husband or partner doesn't have to be a marriage right and men they they choose characteristics right from their mom and from both of them you learn for your dad how to treat a woman how to stand up for yourself as a man if he's there if he didn't just fucking make you and the woman says, I'm keeping it. And he's like, all right, I'll stick around. But he doesn't give two shits about you the rest of his life. Mom's the same. How many moms aren't just pieces of shit with their daughters? Too harsh, calling them whores, making them rebel and go in all sorts of areas to search for validation. I think you need both parents and you need them to make an effort. And there's no better effort than two people who commonly come to an agreement then we have to bring a life into this world man dude having a kid is hard enough even when you want to have that kid with your loved one you don't know people most people don't know when they become a parent and it's hard enough to be there if you don't even want it if 50 percent of those people don't even want it and then the woman turns into a shit mom because she feels like the guy she trapped isn't there. Oh, surprise, surprise. Dude. But here's another example. One of my long-term relationships. One of the girls, one of the two girls. When I met her, she was 21. I was 21. And uh, we were just dating for a couple of weeks. And of course, you use a condom. 
But girls are so stupid. You're, you you don't know shit up until you you're on your own for a few years, and you go away for your parents, and life hits you, and you see what you're made of, and you don't know shit until then. And some girls are really stupid. And I I asked this girl. I I just barely knew her at that point. I asked her, "Did your period come?" Because she was honest enough. I, I'm open, and I usually make girls be open with me. That's the reason I get so close always got so close to women. I give something honest out of myself. So she was honest and said, I just broke up with my boyfriend for two years, right? And I asked her, well, when was your last period? And uh, she was like, I don't know. She didn't even like think about that shit because young girls are stupid. 21 years old, they're like, you're fucking it's late. And I was like, what about an approximation? And she's like, I don't know. It's, now that you mention it, it, it should have been here by now. And I, I begged her, like, for your own good, go see a doctor, have a pregnancy test. And guess what? She was pregnant. And it would have ruined her life at that point forever. And she decided not to keep that kid. And I joined her and I was there by her side. I didn't know this girl. I just wanted, I, I knew she realized that her life was about to change. And this was a, this was not a stupid girl one plus one wise just young and she did she had that hard decision and i was there by her side while she recovered and we had a wonderful relationship after that men don't get a say how about a little advice can they advise shit dude there's women who trap men there's women who trap and it's me 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 but once you know, she's pregnant and she decides to keep it. Suddenly, it's us. I don't have a call in that decision. Really? Even though you told me you were on the pill. I don't have a call in that. Please. Then you're going to be 40 and the kid's going to feel alone. And he's going to come to my door. And be like, why weren't you there for me? And now, what can I say? Kid, now that you exist... Of course, I want you to live. But at that point, your mom, who I didn't know, who I only knew for six months, she decided to have you. And what? What am I? I wasn't ready. I was maybe 21. Never happened to me. But how can you how can you say men don't have a right to say something? I disagree. Strongly disagree. Here's another example, a relative of mine, older, he's now 45, father of two kids, great father of two kids. He told me, man, I raised these kids. I don't want any kids anymore. I barely raised them. Now I, I want to see, I want to see the world. I want to live my life. And what does his wife do? She gets pregnant. What about then? Do you have a word to say then? Hmm? You were a great father for 10 years. Great father, great husband. You tried your best and you tell your wife, baby, I don't want any more kids. It's time. It's time to live our lives. But his wife isn't like that. And she decides for him. He doesn't have a say then. Nothing, really nothing after being there for 10 years, just working and raising these two beautiful children with all his passion. And she did the same. She was no bad mother. But then you want to have a third kid and she just takes that decision for you. Then, then you're what? You're just supposed to take it? Then you're shit if you... As for a divorce, because you barely felt that these 10 years when raising these two kids, you felt you gave it your all and you're not human anymore. You're just dad. Have you no right to carry on life and refine passions and hobbies? No, you just that decisions made for you. Please, ladies, spare me the shit. This was never a channel about bullshit and it will never be. Bottom line is. You ladies should have the power. Not fucking six weeks like in Georgia. Well, a month and a half 
You don't even know. Sometimes the period's late. Sometimes there's another period when you're pregnant too. But please spare me the shit. Don't talk in generalizations. This is what turns these impressionable 18 year old kids who are on the fence. They don't know one way or another. And trust me, this comes for, from a dude who was way stupider than he is now. And he's still pretty stupid, right? You don't know. And if you're on the fence and you see this blatant fucking statements just spread out in the name of some misguided feminism, which is not even feminism, it's mis misandry, what the f whatever the fuck is called. But I fucking, if you want fairness, then I should have a say. If you want to bring this kid, but the world doesn't work that way, dude. So as a guy to another guy, be weary. Because girls after 27 and 28, some of them, they, they just go through a trap mode. And it's okay. If it's okay, if they're decent girls and they're, they turn from the party girl, which they are from like, you know, 25 to whatever the fuck, 30, right? If she turns into a, a nice fucking beautiful woman for you and you want to have that kid, great. But if not, and you just want to have some fun, be honest with this girl. Because it's better it's, and she'll be better. She'll dare to be more honest and maybe she'll choose to tell you that she wants this. If you just play like a dumbass, man, she'll play it like a fucking dumbass. And then the person you bring into that world will be another mouth breeding idiot. And he could have been such a good person. It takes two to tangle. Thank you for listening. Have a lovely day. Woke up all alone with no friends. But you had to throw up again. Choke up the tears and the spit. Grab some tissue to wipe off your lips. And everything still spins. And then the chills begin. And then the God, please kill me right now hits. And you still don't know whose house this is. In between leftover dry heaps. You try to check out your timepiece.